So for today, we're going to be looking at 801. We're going to be looking at the shaders and the armor that she is offering. And that's really it. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Other than that, Midnight Exigent. I don't remember the shader. I remember it now. Mm. So this is a good shader if you want to go for a Warmind look because this is from Season of the Worthy, which was a Warmind inspired season. So that is a good set for it. I'm just not the biggest fan of yellow. I've never been a big fan of yellow. That being said, it is the off color. So you could probably do some really dope shit with this. We have the Mad Monk, which I definitely would recommend this one just because uh, you can really get some good colors on it. And it is a really good color scheme. But my biggest thing is, is the fact that the Mad Monk, I us usually use it for like black stuff. So like, as you can see from the cloak, it does have a black look for it. And that's what I would usually go for. So that, that's what I've used for Mad Monk in the past. But I also do think the shader itself, just in general, does hold itself well. We have War Cult Endgame. <clears throat> I like the shader quite a bit. I love the all white with the like blue or light blue. I think it's really, really cool. Definitely worth it because again, it's only 10,000 glimmer, which in the grand scheme of things, it's really not that expensive uh, because you can just go to um, Master Rahul and just give him a bunch of stuff so that way you can get Glimmer. I mean, there's a bunch of ways to get Glimmer, so I would definitely recommend at least War Cult Endgame. I think this shader is definitely the best one so far right now that she sold this week. That being said, I would still like at least go for Midnight Exigen if you are a big fan of like war cult not war cult if you're a big fan of the uh war mine style because that is a good shader for it and i do think mad monk would be the lowest in the totem pole but i still think you would get you should get it as for the armor we've reviewed this armor what two weeks ago so i'm not going to talk too much about this that being said hunters i think the helmet is usable i think the arms and chest piece are definitely really really usable and then the boots and the cloak is the like the weakest portions of the whole thing but other than that i do think it's really really cool and i definitely would re recommend some of these pieces titans i would only recommend the boots only because i've used that in a mongolian look uh for the uh fist of the north star exotic i forget what it's called that's the that's the way i remember it it's um we'll, we'll look at it later but yeah i've done a mongolian set with that look and i really really like it um the other thing is the fact that the orange in the armor doesn't really change color. So that's another negative part about it, which is why I only recommend the boots for the warlocks. I think the chest piece and the helmet are really cool to the point where I actually have the helmet unlocked because I do think it's really cool. The chest piece is definitely usable and the arms, boots and bond are kind of in the boring side. But let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Be safe. I will see you guys later.